I'm going to buy him. Buy him, come on my house. Yes, let me see it on social media. I you see the, the condition what I into. I feel if everybody... You know what? one, do you your own work. I don't if it talk. Box cover, this is Dutty Bear and welcome to a brand new top 10 social media countdown. Now this is, you know, the first, what you call it, December episode. So you know, set of Christmas vibes, the season's greetings, all of them look at something there. It is the season for giving. So I'm going to give you some quality content to um in this last month of 2022. So anyway, um, you know, many things to get into, but first something I have to just kind of touch upon, you know, and and send out condolences to, to Idonia's family. Him and Kim, they lost they, they, they lost their only child, Khalil, and um just so much um circulating online, but like yeah, it it's it, it's it's heavy. I saw the news and you know, so much um people chiming in, but me really feel say until they decide to touch on the matter. Everybody for just kind of just just lay low and just like, you know, check in um, as they can. All right. But anyway, let's get right into the top 10 countdown. <laughs> The thirsty are the berry, yeah, the juicy are the scoop. All the things are going on and missing on the news. Tell your sister and your auntie said the corner I'm coming soon. All the drama where you want, you can tune into the youth. Like, yo, hey, box cover, I'm cover all the topics like a evening. Pot cover, mix up, blender, all them. So, me, I will have me now the week, yo, just tune in. Zine. Number 10, Leon Bailey and the JFF, me football. Okay, burritos. So, Leon Bailey, the star international footballer himself, um, from the, the Craig Butler Empire. He was recently a guest on Jeffrey's podcast, Let's Be Honest podcast. And in this podcast, no, you know, and I almost know Jeffrey. You know, Jeffrey always thought the things I want to go viral online. Yeah. And so he has his Let's Be Honest podcast, and Leon Bailey was there as a guest. Every club wants a young player. And then time they, yeah, get compared um, to Robin. To Robin. And then Robin both will leave. Yeah. So then they want me for replace Robin. So Leon Bailey, you know, he doesn't usually do interviews. This brother, for the most part, just like enjoying life. You will see him and him family. Um, you will see him just partying, just living good. Um, sh you know, showing, say, you know, things are going for him and thing. And so this opportunity was a big deal. When Mr. the interview, me, I like, wait. Oh, my God. So anyway, so what got many people talking and got the attention of the Jamaica Football Association was this part of the conversation. A lot of people don't know, say, from me about eight or nine, I get five from the F Jamaica Federation. Mm -hmm. I get what? Fight. Oh, fight, okay. From people who are the top man in the, in the Federation. Yeah, and them that people, up until this day today, were in the Federation, can't look in my eye. Mm -hmm. So, so this is because they're ties with, with, with Craig Butler? Yeah. Okay. And uh, them are fighting from me. Look at you. I mean, is that allowed? Them, 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 them even try to block me from going to Europe. Mm. The man, them link embassy and them thing there. <laughs> you know, make me get visa. Go to them away. Brother, I queue with me. It's the last time I go to Europe. I queue with me for fly to and get my visa, you know. Mm. The man in black, every embassy of Jamaica, so when I get the visa for cutting you know? Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, man. Leon Bailey basically said that there are several people who are trying to block him from, you know, um, crossing over. He had to go to Cuba. All of them look at something there. And so right there and then, you know, said so this wouldn't look good for the JFF. And, and so they were quick um, to, to come on social media to distance themselves from all of this and say, like, they don't know of any type of doings like that so burritos i'd love to hear from you do you agree with what leon really expressed in that interview um or i think you should have gone about it differently sound off below mm -hmm. <laughs> number nine hattie spelling b me ig at girl <laughs> okay anyway burritos so number nine goes to um hattie spelling b no, I saw this video on Twitter on King Tavi's page. You don't know King Tavi. King Tavi is social media uh, uh, influencer, content creator. Like, he's one of the best of the best. And so, what I'm hearing is that he's actually been venturing into more behind the scenes work, directing, um, editing. And so, and congratulations on that, you know, uh, 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 Tavi. And um, so, a part of that was, I guess, this, this series where he was able to bring about some, some Instagram social media. Um, IG buddies, I, I guess, and get them to do a bit of a spelling competition. <laughs> no, take a take a look. 
C-H-A-O-S. C-A-O-S. K-A-I-O-S. Oh, oh, okay. Um, <laughs> um, oh, okay. oh, wow. Um, can I see some more? C A I S O S. Everybody not fully dance, my love. Everybody fully dance. L A U N G E I R E. L A U R L A O U. Yeah, I remember for spelling day. Yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, man. Them trying about, yeah, man. Them no need a spelling bee. Them need spell check. Jesus Christ, mm mm, mm mm. What a sight going on, we all get something and everybody knows a certain word. You get me? Like all, which word me never know the other day? You have one, you, have, you see them French word there? Eh? Like rendezvous? Yeah, man, if you don't know your French, you know, I get it, you know. And like all them words, like all soiree, if you don't know it, you don't know how to spell it. And that's why I understand now why the people them tend to ask when they do the spelling bee competition. And they will be asking, like, um, may I have the meaning, please? Or, May I have the language of origin? Hmm, can you use it in a sentence? I attended a wonderful soiree last evening. Soiree. S-O-I-R-E-E. -E. Soiree. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. But yes, man, burritos, so, so let me know um, if you're here for more content like this. And um, what do you think about the IG um, at girl them effort in the spelling bee? Sound off below. Number eight, Peanut Dread Cries. Me sent a table. Okay, burritos, so uh, number eight goes to Peanut Dread. No, um, I was just minding my business as usual when I saw this particular post from, um, was it just the star? And they were talking about the social media, um, the popular social media personality, Peanut Dread, who is known for several catchphrases, including the Radam. Anything sweet, you? When so are your ass? Radam! So he's been about the place, we on stage, and interviews and things. And then you have him YouTube channel where he has over 73,000 subscribers. So Zaki Pon, I know them are going to come so early. So when I saw this clip now, um, where he was basically talking about he's living in a, a, a very substandard situation. The amount of people me see gravitating to me. I thought me should get some better attention here. Because I get called from all over, Seras. If it wasn't you, I would rob and kill. When me listen to you, and me say imagine, and the, the condition what I into. I feel if everybody did know the condition what I into, and come together, I'm a little bit more comfort, right? In my videos where I get views and in channel monetize, so where is all of this money going? Because I'm living a rough life right now, yeah? Yeah, we really need some attention, right? And so since then, several people have been um, you know, reaching out to him to get support. I think the Angel and her foundation reached out to him as well. And um, I'm just like, no man, why is it all, um, always when you have these social media personalities that are not in charge of their channel, that you always have a moment like this where there's a fight or a struggle for money and who is getting the greater share? Um, and so, you know, just as me, I think that things just gone bad. He did put up this video on his uh, YouTube page to say that he is being compensated properly. Since me get my own page and me collecting my own money right now, a YouTube, right? But as I say, the YouTube money not enough to really maintain my demand right now. You, are you serious? This money is just to carry me on, eat and drink, and me have to buy gas, and me have, me have to pay, me have all internet, me have to pay internet bill, me have to pay water rate, me have, and, and all that, right? So it, it not really strong enough to get along my building, right? So if people can really contribute to assist me to really finish my little building, then I would be grateful. All right, you know, so right about now, I don't know everything right now because um, I don't know if he's been instructed to say certain things. I don't know, but I'm just hoping that he's able to, to just have his contents monetized proper, properly and that whosoever is helping to manage the channel, because I don't think he's a sole person managing the whole logistics of AdSense and all of that, that they are being fair and whosoever know him family support, 
you know, ju just give him a strength and, and support him um, in at this time. Okay? So, let me know what you thought about this entire situation. Burritos, peanut dread, sound off below. Yeah, man, because we can't have life around him, you. Mm -mm. <laughs> Number seven, curvy voiceover. Me banana split. Okay, burritos now. Oh God, did I just damage my arm a while ago? Mm -mm, we need some milk. Jesus Christ. Anyway, so um, number seven goes to curvy diva now, people. I want to know her as a media personality. Now she is a restaurant owner. She have dining with curve, um, curvy. And so recently she put up a particular Instagram video. No, it's not the video the problem, you know. It's not the content itself is the problem. What got many tongues wagging was the fact that she used Miss Kitty's voiceover um, throughout the video. Take a look. I don't want no broke man, period. I do broke man, I don't hungry, I lazy. I work hard. And you can't help elevate me and me can't elevate you. It doesn't make no sense. Because me, now normalize, no struggle of me. Your mama, the struggle with your she of you. Can you me can't live with you? So say it to you. No, honestly, Yannick, Yannick is just, Yannick mischievous. Yannick know what she do. She just know of it. You know, let's just, just play with certain things. Um, and if you don't know the history of Yannick and, um, and Miss Kitty, several years ago when Magnum Kings and Kings of the Dance Hall, you know, was, was happening weekly, um, they had a moment on stage. Well, let me just say to you, Yannick, that I get to, and I want to just clear the air now. Yeah. Because Mary a real man and Mary top yellow road, nice. so we deal with things directly. So some things have been said, and I just want to clear them up. You and I have no beef whatsoever. I know that. The manufactured beef mm. is disingenuous. It is duplicitous. Mm. It doesn't exist. The manufactured food that we have, yeah, I understand it that. doesn't it's exist been at all. For a while. So and what I'm saying to you is, the manufactured beef mm. is disingenuous. It is duplicitous. You can come to my dressing room and say that. All right. Yeah, man. And after that moment, everybody start to talk about, you know where my dressing room is. Meet me at my dressing room. And we all learned the word duplicitous. May I have the meaning, please? Barry, can you spell duplicitous? Oh, Lord. D-U-P-L-I-C-I- T O U S. <laughs> yeah, man, Burrito said that is how we learned the word. So, I, I, I mean, I guess Kirby Diva, she's just having fun with this. No remark from Kitty as yet. I'd love to hear um, how Kitty feels about this. So, down below, Burrito, what you thought of Yannick's mischievous moment. <laughs> Number six, viral kosafi. Okay, make coconut. All right, burritos. No, um, there is a particular lady that people have the pleasure of just going up to randomly recording, and I'm um, knowing, fully well knowing, that at some point in time, her energy is going to just switch. She is going to drag you. Hello, good day. What happened? Eh? What happened? What are you same one from? What, what's your problem? Ask eh? your mother when you see her. Ask her wish of the ten man. That have sex with her is your fault. <laughs> Where are the... no, because you have a mental problem. The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. <laughs> No, honestly, my thing is that why don't people leave her alone? What gets me every time, you know, is that she always starts off so well-spoken, so sophisticated. She, she almost gives you a little bit of regality. Hi, darling. How are you? And then at some point in time, it's like her head just say, you know what? Me eat you. You're drunk. I'm going to tell you something. You're a TikTok star. You have to wash it up in but the But you're a TikTok yes, star. Yes, let me see it on social media. And you will see if the large can help you. What large? Oh, yes. King, king, mama, I wish man fuck. Marika! Ish katai! I'm going to put it on social media now. <laughs> And whether you're not sugar tell you about your mother, sugar tell you where you sleep with, sugar tell you where you used to push inside her, she is going to just tell you all kind of things that you are never ever prepared to hear. You don't have any manners. So at this point, I don't think it's an act. I think this is just how the lady is, but I'm going to urge social media users just to leave her alone because... Just, just leave her alone. I think it is a very weird idea that people just see her and just take up, her, take up the camera for a viral moment like yeah I, I mean i get it but come on you know just let the lady do her thing because she don't seem like she don't really want to bother nobody 
Beridos, let me know. Have you ever seen a video of her? And would you ever approach her for a picture? Sound off below. <laughs> Number five, Skilly wins. Mingungu. Okay, so Beridos. So, dancehall artist Skilly Bang uh, recently re received a MOBO award for Caribbean top artist. <laughs> Yes, man, Skilly Bang. Skilly Bang is Mr. Wap Wap. That song that literally just like went viral. Like, I, I mean, who never know the song there? People made fun of it and look at it. It is probably the song that was very, you know, instrumental in, in him winning this award. So a simple little song that people felt was just like too corny, too simple. And look what it did internationally. And so, um, Skilly Bang, you know the science to your entire music. And, and right now you're able to get the fruits of your labor. Is that? Yo. Yo, 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 yo. First of all, big up more about awards. And what really got me, you know, in, in his acceptance speech was the fact that he made the entire audience say the BBC word, what well, we can't say right now, but this is the one time you're gonna make the bad word actually play, so cut to it. <laughs> oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, and several things can be said, you know, about how, you know, overseas foreigners tend to love our very colorful language, and in Jamaica we don't really have a space for it, but I think one of them things there, cause over there you have certain words with them can say over there, um, that they cannot say, but we probably can get away with in Jamaica. I just say life and culture and different regions stay, but it is something to be said. But Burritos, let me know what you thought of um, Skilly Bang's acceptance speech, especially the part when I'm going to Emlickle in foreign accent. Skilly Bang, mm. I know, let me tell you, I think he has a top tier American uh, of overseas accent. I think right now he needs for us to do some acting. And I really appreciate this award. And to everybody that's working hard, Believe in yourselves. Believe in your dreams. Keep doing Because it seems as if some raw talent is actually there. <laughs> well, let me, yeah, let me know, Barry, does what you thought of his win. Number four, Jarul and Ashanti in JA. Your lips, your smile. Okay, Burritos, so um, recently Jarul and Ashanti performed in Jamaica. Um, they were booked to, 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 to appear at Yush. Now, um, what I'm hearing is that that event went quite well. It was well received by the audience, by the patrons. And the highlight of the evening was, of course, the performance by um, Murder in Godot, Ashanti and Jarul. <laughs> No, honestly, I didn't get to go home. I feel a little way, so I never get to go because I would have been there singing out all of the little songs, them, you know. Always there when you call, always on time. What would I do without my baby? And I'm going on crazy. Cause every dog needs a lady. Oh, you see, my days are cold without my days are cold, baby. Yeah. I'd be doing the whole of that in the audience. Then I'd probably have to go usher me out. <laughs> but Maridos, um, what would you say is your favorite um, Jarul and Ashanti collab? Sound off below. Number three, throwback love. Mihilangoli. Okay, Maridos, no. So um, this video I, I saw on, on, on Shade Room. And um, it featured this couple looking back at their a throwback picture of them. Um, in them younger days when them did, you know, in a them quote-unquote what society would call them prime. And they were able to, I guess, like reminisce about how they felt about each other at the time. Take a look. What do you rate the man in this photo? Lord, me dear, fabulous. <laughs> when I say fabulous, Idris Elba, <laughs> go away. <laughs> this one is much better looking. And guess what? He's my hobby. So I would say at least close to 100. <laughs> okay, what do you rate the woman in this photo? One foxy little lady that man. 
<laughs> Telling you. Hey, man, there might have been about a hundred bubbles inside there, man. <laughs> I give her about a hundred a thousand bubbles, you know. And I tell you, he was hot to trot, you know, I tell you. Jesus, women, their heads used to turn. <laughs> you know, immediately as I watched the video, you know, the first like 10 seconds or so, I was like, yeah, man, the woman here Jamaican, you can't, there's something about, no matter how many years they were from Jamaica, you can't always hear it in the voice. Like just three seconds of somebody can't talk in, you can almost be like, yeah, man. The sauna, yeah man, man, I feel like a Caribbean. I don't know, yeah man, I don't know, Barbados, this up. Uh, yeah man, it's a yardy, this man. Yeah man, I hate this. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm none of those things. Here's my dad, he's from Haiti. Here's my mom, she's from Jamaica. Our DNA's mixed up, but we're none of those things. <laughs> And that is what I did. So, you know, big up to this couple, you know, I'm like, this is them did, you know, they were interact like this. I didn't seem as if they're very much still in love years later. No burritos. Um, would you try something like this with your grandparents? Sound off below. Right about now, it's time for the big up segment. Well done. Well done. Look all the girls and sexy and young. Run along. Sing along. Well then. Big up paper. Okay, so on the big up segment this week, I have to go and big up uh, the new play that is called Pickney Worries. No, it's at the Little Theater, December 8, 2022 at 8 p.m. Um, children, $1,500. Adults, $2,500. It is written and directed by my friend, Jonique Francis. So for more information, you can just check out the flyer that I have right here. Call or text or WhatsApp. Get your friend, your mother, your cousin, your uncle, everyone to th see this production uh, December 8th. It's theater. A statement by itself, but also the name of a small theater production company and the scene where a family entertains families. Number two, next to me, music video. Mimi Swirl. Okay, burritos know. So um, I have to talk about this video with Tony and Singh and Popcorn. They have a collab out called Next to Me and People. The song is just, it's shell, 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 shell. We could go anywhere. Yeah man, that is the song and I just like it. Honestly, at some point in time I feel like a, a Tony song. The fact that I feel like Tony was able to kind of hold her own against the popcorn in a single like this, it says a lot about her talent and um, the fact that her voice, it just, it's undeniable. You can't, you can't make the voice just go away. She really sound good. You need to listen to the song with like um, earphones in so you can really get to the quality. Um, and as a popcorn, I love the dynamic. Like, I actually, I'm really, really loving seeing him and Tony together. Whatever the situation is, it is really nice. And, if I, and, and, and I feel like they have a nice, authentic um, chemistry. You know, it's a synergy right there. I miss some people online attack say, you know, so they're probably really in love with you know, because a piece of the video, Tony actually by popcorn shoulder. I don't know, any, anybody I do them look at something there with you know, when you start for your bite knee up and ankle and them look at something the piece I lick to and them something there, you know, say I right or so, the, the love start for seasoning, it start for sickle up, you know, you put in all the ingredients and the little black pepper and look at something them, everything right there, I start to get anointed. Yeah, man, I them look at something there going right now. So if you see popcorn put up him snap one day and say Tony there, they just randomly, you know, just that they and I'll, I'll, I'll squeeze out pimple out time face. I right there, I know, say them probably I'll marry that I'm three pinning on the way. And they say, and they say something said. So, <laughs> um, burritos, I just wanted to hear like how, 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 how much you, you enjoy the song if you do. And, um, would you want them to collaborate again? Sound off below. Mm -hmm. This is Original Coffee and you're watching the Dutty Berry Show. Dutty Berry, I come in like a rapture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And number one goes to. Woo! And number one goes to Kiddo, please, no burritos, no. Honestly, I just like when we feature like the, 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 the kids them on the social media countdown, especially when they're just low, either very intelligent or, you know, extremely hilarious. And this uh, young, young kid by the name of Amir, he is definitely both. He is intelligent as well as quite hilarious. And so um, I, I think his family, they tend to post videos of him from time to time. And this is not his first time going viral. Um, but we'll soon get into that. So this 
this particular video started to make the rounds after I, I guess he came home from school and uh, his guardian was able to just kind of you know poke fun at him for not getting all of his answers correctly this is how Amir responded Stians, make sure you can answer them thank you mom you can answer you can answer what what is thank you in Spanish come on don't don't want to let me call the police, okay? Call the police by yourself. You don't want, want to do your want. homework. And that if a talk, famous boy don't want to do his homework Kim and want. don't know my how homework. to do his Spanish homework. homework. I'm going to do my homework every day. I'm going to get my Spanish. I'm going to get 10 out of 10 every day. So where y'all tell me no? Oh! Oh! I didn't get 10 out of 10 Friday. You got 9 out of 10. And and what and what that mean? My, te my teacher said me I'm going with myself good. Me I'm going yes, good. you'll get one wrong. You're not and perfect. That no matter. It matters because nobody is perfect. <laughs> nobody in this place is perfect. And nobody else that's in Jamaica is perfect. Nobody is perfect. The way you hype, you should I get all of them right. You shouldn't get none wrong. The way you want like, to say you smart, you not forget none wrong. You're supposed to spell everything correct. I me just get one wrong and that's and and that's fine. The teacher still love it. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, I think this brother just needs to be a lawyer and done like the way he's so quick witted, the way he's so articulate, like him actually received the information and knows how to respond on time. Like him no wait, him no itch, he always has a response in his back pocket. Like Come on, always get ten out of ten and nine out of ten. eat myself. You are going to eat yourself. Hey, me no know, me no know. This this is I, I I think this is a skill and a talent, and I can only imagine how him take his how he takes his teachers to task on a day to day basis. But as I said earlier, this is not his first time going viral. He um had you know went viral for this particular video as well, where he was um telling his father that he never likes say him 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 I make fun of him shoes. This boy said my shoes is ugly and I need I need I need very disrespectful. <coughs> we just come. And box and shut a box in our face and sit in. Shut up in our face. You hear me, God? Okay, that's a very important word. Amen. You saw your shoes ugly? <laughs> come on! God, you said that again. Please just come down. You're taking a long time. Close my van door. Just close my van door. Tired of you. God, you said he's tired of me. <laughs> no, and he's also um on this particular video as well. Look here, look here. You look what? All right, look here. It's Kim Won. She mm. want buy things for expensive. You can't buy things for expensive. <laughs> with your money. With, with our money. With because, your money. Because you have money. So all you expect that. For, for, um, you are going to have better than going to buy one school shoe for your son. Don't expect that to me. Expect that for me. But I'm not going to buy a shoe for eleven thousand dollars. Me ask you a question. Me ask boy. you a question. You little boy. I'm not going to buy a shoe. Ask you a question. What is the answer question? me. What is the question? Oh yeah, go go down a plaza and you and you now buy one shoe for one of your son. Them. Explain that to me. Explain that to me now. I am not going to buy a shoes for $11,000 for you. Yes, you're going to buy it. And you can not tell me what you want to buy. You're going to buy it. Hmm. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Yeah, man, Barry does say you can see that this kid, Amir, is just something else. Like, I don't know how parents deal with it. Because, you know, there are certain things when they can just like tell a little bit, if you go take up the book or go, go for the remote and do this and them just do it. When you have somebody that can challenge you 
and also communicate in such an effective way where you're like, no man, me can't treat them like a regular child. It, it, me have to treat it like me and talk to somebody where me and them go to school with them and, and, and what I work with from a, on a day-to-day -day basis. So, um, Mary does let me know, could you deal with having a, a younger sibling or um, a child like Amir where you have, to, you have to be quick on your feet to survive? You think you could handle it? Sound off below. <laughs> Well, that's it, Beridos. We've come to the end of another Top 10 Social Media Countdown. I hope you enjoyed it. If you hit, did, please hit the thumbs up button as well as to, you know, hit the like button. Uh, turn on the post notifications so that you know whenever I post a video. Uh, do not forget to leave a comment down below as well as to subscribe. Get your friends, your family, everyone to subscribe to the Dutterberry YouTube channel. Now, once you've done so, please still head over to my social media and follow me at Dutterberry Show on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, TikTok, Dutterberry Show. And for advertising, for bookings, uh, just reach out to me to this email, bookings.dutterberryshow at gmail.com. <laughs> okay, take care. Until next time <laughs> the dirty are the berry yeah the juicy are the scoop all the things are going on and missing on the news tell your sister and your auntie said the corner coming soon all the drama where you want you for tuning to the youth like yo hey box cover and cover all the topics like a evening pot cover mix up blender all them suck me i will have me not a week yo just tune in scene